Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Michelle and today I am going to be helping you guys. So today's video guys is all about helping you and how you can survive online classes. So I know right now it seems really daunting and it is scary and you're feeling overwhelmed but I promise you, you will get through this. It won't last forever. All you got to do now is just take a deep breath and breathe because you will make it. We will get through this. Um, we're all in the same boat. All our classes are online. I really just want to help you guys today with some pointers and kind of just let you know how I am surviving online classes. It was definitely a struggle in the beginning. I'm not saying that the way that I do it is the best way. I am not an expert. I don't get 100%. I haven't even got any of my marks back. I just feel a lot more relaxed now. I am not stressing about it. And I feel like so many people wish to be in that state. So I have my book with me about stuff that I want to talk about, you know, just help you guys survive and make it through this. So point number one is definitely a diary, a calendar, any sort of planner that you can write down everything. And I mean everything. So I have this diary. Every month I will, you know, go and write down exactly what is due when it's due when i have my classes what time i have my classes and i love to tick them off so i love i just get so much satisfaction from ticking off something or highlighting it that i've done it so <laughs> I made this weekly schedule thing to kind of just um, list all the days that I have my classes and my tutorials so all my lectures are at the same time and my tutorials are also at the same time so they haven't really changed but what is so nice about the online classes is that if I am unable to make that class there is a recording for it so i can always catch up on those which is never the case because i like to do things at the designated time so i have this that i just stick up against my cupboard thing um so i've always got that another big thing is you could use a whiteboard you could use a4 plain paper and make it yourself you can buy them I basically got this whiteboard, I stuck some tape, it's just got my units that I've got and I then did the same. So I had listed the times that I do my lecture. So it's always the day before my tutorial and then I have my tutorial and workshop. I usually had my tutorials towards the end of the day, so like half past one to half past three. But what's also really nice is that if I want to go to a morning class, I can now, which is actually convenient because I'll wake up early, get the class done, and then I have the rest of the day to catch up or do anything else. And then I have also my assignments that are due. So I write all the assignments that are due during the semester and when the quizzes are due. So if we have any tests and stuff, I write those down. I... Um, try to explain what it is very briefly like this is a um, 1500 word essay the due date and like yeah this is a case study that's due then um, yeah I just basically like to see it physically when the things are due and with the whiteboard you know you can continuously change it 
in the beginning I was doing this weekly um so at the bottom here I just put like which week it was so that I knew what was due but because it's towards the end I have very few left so I've just put them all up there on top of that I also rewrite so I write the stuff pretty much three times of what I need to do because I'm obsessed with ticking things off but it's also um nice to make sure that you never miss anything so every sunday i will sit and i will write my units down i will then say i need to do a lecture as in notes and watching the lecture i then need to watch the tutorial or attend the tutorial at that specific time i write down any reading that i have to do I also mention the assessment that is due for that unit, when it needs to be due, and what I need to complete with that. Um, then I do the same with all the others. Um, for example, here I had a quiz this morning. I wrote that down. Um, I wrote that I needed to study for that and um, at what time I was going to complete the quiz. So these are all my planners. As you can see, I have so many because I'd rather have too many than too little. I also place them up on my wall so that I physically see them and I know what is due when. And I also constantly go back to them to make sure that I haven't missed anything. Another important thing that you need to do is constantly check your emails. So I'm obsessed with checking emails um, so that I can put them in folders or I just am obsessed with checking if there's anything that I've missed. So I would recommend checking your school emails at least once to twice a day. I know we have something coming in every single day and our tutors and lecturers are constantly providing feedback about the coronavirus, or what's the situation within the university it's important because you don't want to miss anything with regards to tests or assessments or what is due or if their class has been changed or moved when i so when it comes to studying and actually sitting down to watch a lecture or a tutorial you need to have a designated space so for example i just have mine in my bedroom we don't really have a massive house so it's just the best place for me ideally it would be nice if it can be in a completely different room um but in my case it is in my room i know it's tempting to want to go and sit on the bed but don't because your body naturally knows that when you're on the bed it's time to relax it's time to sleep so you will become tired um so i like to sit on a chair which gets a bit much sometimes i have to sit on a pillow um, and then have a pillow to my back because it gets so sore um, when I sit for too long or like hours on end I know I need to get up more which is important it's important to get up take a break drink some water have a snack have lunch and have lunch away from your desk but yeah designated space no distractions my laptop isn't connected to the Wi-Fi. We had changed Wi-Fi over and just forgot to do it. So I have my hotspot on my phone, which is nice because I put my hotspot on, I put my phone away, and then I can just deal and work on my laptop. to reduce distractions i know it can be tough everyone is at home now it's really just about figuring out what works for you so for me personally i like complete silence music is very distracting to me the tv playing so i don't like things like music such with words with lyrics um oh, and the tv is even worse so that's just for me personally i like peace and quiet when it comes to study there needs to be good lighting there needs to be fresh air so that you can feel 
um, refreshed and energized to take on the subject. Well, my degree has four units a semester, so altogether we have eight a year. What I did is I bought this book. It's a five subject book. I labeled each little folder thing and that's where I keep all my stuff. So each little section is designated to just the subject. So this is my lecture book. I usually write notes from the lecture into this book. Um, then I have the same for all of those. We also get unit plans. So I print out the unit plans and I pop that in so that every week when I make my list of things I need to do, I can follow the weeks on the unit plans and see what it is that I need to be reading or doing for that week. What else? And then also I have four other books. So I have four books for these units that are the tutorial notes. When the tutorial is playing, I will make notes as it's going. And guys, let me tell you, these online classes are not as bad as I thought they would have been and that they're starting to get a little bit better. When the tutorial is playing, if it's recorded, as the teacher is talking, you can stop and play as much as you like. So I'm actually going to play a video of how I listen to a lecture. So today's lecture is my health science lecture and the unit is basically human anatomy and physiology. It's probably one of my favorite. I love bio. So really, really enjoying this unit. Very sad that it's online though. So basically you have the lecture usually the day before your actual tutorial. In my case, it's usually on a Friday because the Monday is my class first thing in the morning. So I get that done the during the weekend. What's really nice is that all our lectures and material are already online and we have access to them 24 seven. But let me tell you my system. So, I am a very um, hands-on learner and unfortunately this unit you can't really so how I study or what works for me is I usually have the textbook open and I then have the lecturer playing um, and, and then I just have my book open and as the lecture is going I make notes and if I feel like she's going too quickly I will pause it make the note, read the book, and see what might have been left out. And yeah, I kind of alternate between colors. And this particular module is going to be in our exam. So what they've done is they've done the first three units were our first quiz. Then the next three units were in our next quiz, which will be on Tuesday. And the last what's it, six units are going to be in the final exam. I'm not entirely sure yet about their exam because with everything that's been going on, our exams might be cancelled or they're going to be replaced with something else. So we'll see what those will be. So yeah, this is just a little bit of an insight to how I study and manage a course that's supposed to be on campus online. schedule that I do that's really really helped me get a grip on things and to not feel so overwhelmed. On a Monday I have a Hoppers 8 tutorial. That's about two hours. After that I will have a bit of a snack, a drink of water and a good 15 minutes away from any work. I then 
attend to my Wednesday's lecture because I don't have a class on Tuesday. I usually leave that day for my assignments. So I make notes on my lecture. I watch the lecture. I, um, what else? And honestly, it takes most of the afternoon. So I then have a pretty long break after that. I train. So I go for a walk or a run. Um, just do some exercises at home. So then on Tuesday, I tackle my assignments. In the beginning, when I first started doing assignments, I would open it up, get the word document, you know, read up what it is that I need to do. And I would dive into it immediately. And I would feel so overwhelmed because I'm like, I have to get this done now. It has to all be done immediately on this day. That's it. And that just hasn't worked for me anymore. What I've started doing is that I will focus on an assessment. I will read what it is that I need to do. And I will do at least a little bit of it. I will break it up so much. I usually give myself three weeks to do an assessment. And during that three weeks, I can get done. If, if I do a little bit. By the end of the three weeks, the whole thing is going to be done because I would have done a little part of it um, every week. So an example is my science or my health science assessment. It's a case study. You have six case studies. I'm giving myself six days where I do a case study a day and it's worked really well. I don't feel overwhelmed to get all six done immediately. Breaking it up like helps me clear my mind helps me think better so that's what I usually do on a Tuesday give my time to deal with assessments and focus just on that it's also my day of recording videos so definitely need to fit that into my schedule as well as well as edit those uh, then on a Wednesday I have my workshop this is a very practical workshop so it's very strange to do at home because you're making your own beds or you're doing things on yourself at home in front of a camera then i then attend to my thursday lecture after that workshop obviously during this time i take breaks i um you know honestly have a fat chat with my sisters or you know we just i just really take it easy i'm trying not to stress too much about everything because I know stress doesn't help the situation. Thursdays, I also honestly moved all my classes to a morning, so I do it in the morning so that the rest of the afternoon I can focus on the next day's tutorial. I, yeah, so I do the lecture that day. So essentially, I do a lecture in the morning or a tutorial in the morning and the lecture in the afternoon or vice versa. Friday is my health science day because the health science is on the Monday. Saturday are my assignment days. I catch up. I um, see what I've missed out on. And Sunday, I don't do anything. Sunday, I turn off my laptop. Well, actually, Saturday night, I turn off my laptop. I am very seldom on my phone. I honestly do everything I have wanted to do all week. So that is watching shows. So I do this thing called DIY Miniature House. I read, I watch videos on YouTube. And yeah. So if anything, if there's really one point I can give from this, is that there should always be at least one day designated to doing nothing. Doing only the things you enjoy. Doing only the things that make you happy. Because I honestly and personally feel like that just helps me. What's, what's the word? It just motivates me for the week. I am energized for the next week. 
I know that it can be very stressful and I know that it can be overwhelming. It is scary. This is my first time as well. So I'm not an expert at this. I am just someone who is going through it herself. And if there is anyone out there that also feels like they're struggling or maybe does some of the stuff that I do, I'd really love to hear from you. But for now, that is it. I hope I've been able to help you. And I really do look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!